Action! It takes place in hard times and still shimmers with glamour with characters both in front and in back of the camera. Complete rehearsal. It gets pounded, painted, plastered, and scored. Okay, stand by. And has stained glass ceilings and marbled floors. Butlers, advisors, maids, and rockets. It floats, flirts, and does the two step. It has chases in strange places and magical things. A bald billionaire. Leaping lizards! And an orphan that sings. The sun will come out tomorrow, so you gotta hang on till tomorrow. It's something famous. I don't like it. Send it back. And something brand new. You can't see it yet, but it's about to come true. The movie of tomorrow. Very good. Is in production today. Of course, it's Annie. It's only a dream away. disturbances. Revealed. What is it? 
its focus is clear. And the games are over. Poltergeist. It knows what scares you. We ain't partners. We ain't brothers and we ain't friends. I'm putting you down and keeping you down until Gans is locked up or dead. And if Gans gets away, you're going to be sorry you ever met me. I'm already sorry. Nick Nolte is a cop. Eddie Murphy is a con. I can help you get Gans, but you got to get me out of here first. You're crazy. He pulls some strings. See how you needed me a little more than you thought, huh, Mr. K? He pulls some scams. So where do you want to do it, honey? Want to hop up on the counter? Nah, we can go in this room over here next to the bathroom. Give me a break. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Come on, we're on the move. Let's go. They've got two killers to track down. Toss me that piece, and he won't waste him. They've got a kidnapping going down. I want the money. I don't know what you're talking about. I want that Indian to snap her neck. They've got a fortune to hunt down. I want to know what's going on between you and Gans. Half a million dollars. And it's all coming down in 48 hours. But I gave you 48 hours to come up with something and the clock's running. This guy got a real itchy trigger finger and he's a nervous cop. You better listen to him you get your brain blown out. I'm the calm type. <laughs> looking for a uh, good old boy by the name of Billy Bear. Never heard of him. Heard of him now, man? You know, you are real stupid for a cop, man. You're following this guy too close. Yeah, well, most cops are pretty stupid, but since you landed in jail, what the hell does that make you? What's happening, Luther? I'm sorry about the door, man. Did that hurt? It looked real painful. You come clean and we're going again right here, right now. So don't look surprised because you know what I like. And tonight we ought to do it. Are you in some hurry or something? Yes, I'm in a hurry. I haven't done anything for three years. Oh, you used to be a priest or something. This ain't my night. The boys are back in town. If you screw up, I can promise you. You're going down. They couldn't like each other less. They couldn't need each other more. You want to bet? And if they can get off each other's case. Look at you. You got a $500 suit on. You're still a low life. Yeah, but I look good. They just might solve this one. Being a cop is a hard job, Jack. Nick Nolte, Eddie Murphy. We ain't brothers, we ain't partners, and we ain't friends. Now, if Dan gets away with my money, you're going to be sorry you ever met me. I'm already sorry. <laughs> 48 hours. Y'all be cool. Beyond the darkness, beyond the human evolution, is Khan, a genetically superior tyrant, exiled to a barren planet, banished by a starship commander he is destined to destroy. Left for dead, he has survived. I'll chase him round the moons of Nibia and round the Antares maelstrom and round Perdition's flames before I give him up. Captain. Can you be major power? Fuck you, Sean 
Not enough against their shields. The base is stopping. Scotty, I need warp speed in three minutes or we're all dead. I've done far worse than kill you. I've hurt you. And I wish to go on hurting you. I shall leave you as you left me. Marooned for all eternity. Buried alive. Buried alive. Sean! Sean! At the end of the universe lies the beginning of vengeance. Star Trek II. The Wrath of Khan. Twentieth Century Fox would like to introduce you to Pee Wee and his pals. Speak it already, mother. Tommy, Mickey, Tim. What's going tonight, right? I don't know. And the biggest man on campus. Why do they call you meat? Because it's so big. When they're not in class, they're into everything. <laughs> okay. Hey, the energy is gonna need it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, pull over. Coast is clear. But what they'd like to get into most is a place called Porky's. I left my idea. Here, use this one. That's my Bible school card. Unfortunately, we can only show you the outside of Porky's. Because what goes on inside is not to be believed. We'd like to show you more of the locker room, but this kind of physical education just isn't taught. Yeah. We can't show you more of the shower scene. What are you doing? Because what they're looking at isn't watered down. They want us to look. They want us to look. Porky. You too will be back for a second look. Okay, I'm ready. Now, when we fought, you had that eye of the tiger, man, the edge. And now you got to get it back. And the way to get it back is to go back to the beginning. You know what I mean? United Artists and Chartoff Winkler proudly present Rocky III. The worst thing happened to you that could happen to any fighter, you got civilized. Get out of here! The truth is, we both started out on the same corner, and I got lucky with my life, and it's driving you nuts. Philadelphia salutes its favorite son, Rocky Balboa. Hey, why don't you tell all these nice folks why you've been ducking me? This guy is a wrecking machine. You know, you've got a big mouth. Why don't you come out and close it, Balboa? Come on. Well, I don't want to fight play. this guy. You fight him without me. Get out, Balboa! Come on, Balboa! Balboa was a fine champion, but his time has passed. See that look in their eyes, Rock? You gotta get that look back, Rock. I the tiger, come on. I will destroy any man who tries to take what I got. I'm gonna torture him. I'm gonna crucify him real bad. For the first time in my life, I'm afraid. Damn, Rock, come on! There's nothing wrong with being afraid. You thought I was tough, this jump will kill you. You wake up after a few years thinking you're a winner, but you're not. There is no tomorrow. You're really a loser. Well, I don't believe it. There is no tomorrow. Come on, come on, come on. It's Rocky's greatest challenge to save his honor, his marriage, and his manhood against his most devastating and dangerous opponent. Bust you up. Go for it. Sylvester Stallone, Talia Shire, Burgess Meredith, Carl Weathers, Burt Young, and introducing Mr. T. Rocky III, an American tradition.
so funny. <laughs> you man. What for? Jets. Want to fly jets? Look at yourself. Officers don't have tattoos. What's your name, boy? Mayo. Zach Mayo, sir. Go, go, come on, lady. You got a girl, Mayo, to walk? No. I ain't looking for one either. What are you looking for? I'll tell you something about the local girls that come across the salon on the ferry every weekend. Just one thing in mind. Unless they marry themselves. Naval aviator. I heard about these girls that are looking for a husband. Not me. I will use every means necessary, fair and unfair. Oh! Oh! Trip you up. Expose your weaknesses as a potential aviator and as a human being. I expect to lose half of you before I'm finished. So get out of here! I think it'd be a guest. How far would you go to get that? Would you let yourself get pregnant? Don't trick him or try to trap him. So, Zach, what do you do with the girl when you're through with her? Huh? I see you've had some training, man, eh? Oh! In every class, there's always one joker who thinks that he's smarter than me. Oh! Not a human being, are you? You better lock it up, boy. I'm trying to be nice to you. I'm trying to be your friend, Zach. Well, I'm be your friend. Get out of here. Uh, now, why would a slick little hustler like you want to sign up for this kind of abuse anyway? I want to fly jets, sir. My grandmama wants to fly jets. No, man, you ain't nothing special. And if you ask me, you ain't got no chance of being no officer. I ain't gonna quit. You're out. Don't you do it. Don't. I got nowhere else to go. Richard Gere, Deborah Winger. An officer and a gentleman. From Paramount Pictures. Let me tell you about my client, Michael Dorsey. He was a fine actor, maybe a great actor, but for every role he wanted, there was a reason why he wasn't right. Sorry, you're too tall. I can be shorter. No, I can't use you. Too short. Oh, I can be taller. Too moody. Next. Too old. Too stubborn. You're too much trouble. Too tough. Too temperamental. Too pushy. Too difficult. Michael, no one will hire you. Just watch me. Boy, did he show us. He auditioned for the female lead on a soap opera and became the hottest new actress in America. And you know what? No one knows his new identity, not even the girl he's madly in love with. Soon everyone will know that she's Dustin Hoffman and he's Tootsie. In 1975, he directed Jaws. In 1978, he directed Close Encounters of the Third Kind. In 1981, he directed Raiders of the Lost Ark. And now, Steven Spielberg brings us E.T., the Extraterrestrial. We will witness the arrival the search, the desertion, the fear, the discovery, the friendship. I'm keeping him. The secret, the love, the warning, the signal. The mystery, the danger, the intrusion, the wonderment, the enchantment, the hope, the connection has been made. Universal Pictures presents 
Steven Spielberg's E.T. The Extraterrestrial. <laughs>